good morning for yeah. the last time. Not for the last time, but like last time for this the year. last time here. The last time here. Um, we're finishing packing everything, and then we go. Well, we're going to breakfast to like you know eat or whatever. Um, and then we pack our bags, and then we leave, and then we do other things. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, it's the uh, the final breakfast, the last one, and of course you're just having bacon with a side of pancakes again. Everyone's last breakfast. Oh, sad, sad. So I realized I never spoke about this at all. But if you look here at the TV, all of the shows are, or the shows are in English. But when it's time for a commercial, oh, that would've been really cool if that worked. Let's wait for a commercial. Take one last look at that view. It's gonna be a long time before we see it again. Alright, bye bye room. It's been fun. Oh, it's a heavy door. We're gone. It's a sad day. Yeah, we act like we can't just like still unlock it though. We technically still have access to lap 12, but it's fine. For all intents and purposes, we're gone. <laughs> also, in case you're wondering why it sounds different, I took the microphone off. Just to make it a little easier to travel with. I think, I think it'll make my life a little easier. Blue on the says Barbados. Yeah, it's probably I'm gonna like get one of these, but like. I don't know, I just wanna make sure I have something. The guy came like actually kind of early. He's supposed to come at 11. It is 10 to 2. He is, he's here. Which means that uh, our vacation is officially coming to an end. Not to the end of the Huh? Not over to the end of the No, it's yeah, not, right. It's not over till we get to the US. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Last one, right? Can't even let my dick eat you, up. <laughs> also, I remember a couple of days ago wondering if this was real, and it is, and it's actually kind of in tune. It's not perfect though. <laughs> Decided we could take another last look at the beach level. Yep, yeah, I'm definitely going to miss that view. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oh, hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah. You're ready to head back to the US? Yes, I am. Oh, you're here. Glad I got this. Look, more fun cup holders. This guy's great. <sighs> We've made it to the uh, we made it to the airport. We're waiting here to check in, but like the entirety of the jet blue line is like roped off and we have to come around this way to get over here, but this says exit. So I don't know where we're supposed to be because I have a stark feeling it's not here, but there's nowhere else to go. I don't know, maybe they're just all on lunch, so they broke it all off, but then people decided to make a line anyway behind me. Anyway, they were here first, so we just did what they did. So we're not the ones at fault, and that's what matters. These rules are so specific. Like, you can carry a carry-on unless you have blue basic, unless you have blue basic and your mosaic, or you're going to London, or your military, or you're an unaccompanied minor, or you purchase even more space seat. It's, that is so many, like, stipulations for this thing. That's so strange. 
You know, in true me fashion, I was feeling fine, but of course the day we have to leave and we're not gonna be home until like nine o'clock tonight, I wake up with a stomach ache, I wake up and like, I don't feel good. So I'm just really hoping that uh, my stomach holds off until we get back to where I can go because I'm, I'm mm, toilet bathrooms, toilet bathrooms, airport bathrooms or airplane bathrooms for that matter. They're not, they're not the most friendly. I don't know if they're gonna like do something or just like watch us. We did it. We got our bags checked. Apparently there was something wrong with the computers and that's why it took so long. Anyways, it got fixed and our bags are now checked and I really hope they don't break anything that's in there. Um, and now we're uh, going to do something. I guess get something to eat, maybe? It's 12 o'clock, about lunchtime. Our flight doesn't leave until like 2, 3 something, so we have plenty of time to kill before we have to be anywhere. So there's this restaurant that I think pretty sure it only exists here in Barbados and we went this whole trip without getting it and I remember really enjoying it as a kid and I remember begging to be able to eat here and now here we are on our last day and there's one at the airport we're having Shafet. A bird pooped on my dad. That's it. That's your update. Oh and we got the Shafet. That's that's a that's a more significant update. In case you didn't know, Barbados used to be a British colony, and there's still remnants of that, such as these fries being called chips. Yep, those are fries. I don't know if you just heard that, but a uh, little gate change announcement. So we were supposed to be at gate 14, so we went to gate 14, and there wasn't nary a person in there. And honestly, it was kind of nice. It was cold and empty. It was great. So we came to the right gate, which is 12, and um, it's hot and crowded. I miss gate 14. It was also dark. Like, there were no lights on. That was so nice. It was, it was a great nap spot. It was a great nap spot. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? Air Canada is taking the following departure back to Jersey. All right, Air Canada. We got on the plane. Well, not on the plane, but we, like, boarded. Well, we haven't boarded by the... Look, we're out of the thing. We just made it. We made it on the plane. We've actually boarded. And the misting is still going on. Well, I guess it's, like, sanitizing. Anyway, um, now we just have to wait five hours. And then another hour, and then we're back. And then we're back. not made to sit for that long. My butt hurts. I'm out of, I'm out of butt. Thanks. <laughs> getting the bags here was a lot easier than getting them in Barbados. It's a lot, it was a lot quicker, a lot easier to find. I don't know, maybe there was just less people here. Uh, we did it. Yeah. We made it back. We are back. And just occurred, oh, my hat's over there. All right. I brought all the bags up, so now I'm tired. And I don't even feel like unpacking my bag, but I'm also gonna do that. But, point is, we made it. And I can just sleep. That's all I wanna do. I wanna eat and I wanna sleep. So I'm gonna eat and sleep. <laughs> you know, I said I was gonna like eat and go to bed while I ate. Sat over there for like, an hour, and now I'm going to bed. 
I am too tired to even do anything right now. So, uh, yep, that's it for today. I'm not even going to bother giving, like, any sort of reflections or anything like that. I will say, though, air quality here is kind of garbage right now. I'm in New Jersey. I don't know if, if you haven't been following. I started in New Jersey, and we're still getting affected by all the wildfire, smoke, smog stuff. So, coming from tropical island with, like, fresh, clear sea air that's just, like, nice and crispy, and now the second we got off the plane and I, like, saw the outside world, I was able to smell and, like, kind of start breathing that air. And I'm, I've already been sneezing a lot. Like, it's it's been a whole thing. But it's fine. I guess my body will get used to it. And it's supposed to clear up by tomorrow like well not by tomorrow but it's gonna supposed to start clearing up tomorrow anyway <clears throat> we can talk more about that tomorrow all right thank you so much for watching this whole barbados series and following me the whole way through if you did i appreciate you and if you only watched one episode i appreciate you too anyway time for bed good night